What is going on lads? Welcome back to another video. Now what we're going to be doing today is installing an AirTech short shifter to the Focus. Uh, one of my mates recently fitted one to the Fiesta and he said it's the best mod he's done to, to the date. So that's what we're going to be doing to the Focus. Um, this is the AirTech one. Again, I got it off the AET website. Um, I think it's about £40, so it's quite a cheap mod um, in comparison to some other mods that can be hundreds and thousands of pounds. So hopefully we're going to get that all fixed today. Um, I'm told that the main things you need is a flathead screwdriver and an Allen key set. This is by all no means um, a tutorial, it's just going to be me attempting to fit it and I'll document it as I go. Um, so first thing I need to do is actually prop this thing here off. Um, so I think you just give it a bit of welly. Um, that doesn't seem to be moving so what I'm going to do is prop the camera up and we're going to start but if you do go ahead to enjoy or if it helps you fit one yourself make sure to drop the video a like subscribe if you haven't already um, and comment down below how much you paid to yours yeah <laughs> but let's go ahead and start um, taking this bit off right lads so let's try and prop this bit off first there we go that's one clip two clips and it should just come off. What I'm actually going to do is just take my gear, gear gator off as well. And that just pulls down so it's nice and easy. And then just untwizzle my gear knob. Just to give me a bit more access to the shifter itself. Um, because I'm told that this area is quite tight and it can be a little bit fiddly. fiddly. So there we go. And there we go. So that is the gator off and that is the gear knob off. We're just going to set those aside for the moment. And I'm just going to pop it into fourth so it can give us a bit of a better angle but if I just grab the camera I'll show you what we're working with so this is what the actual section of the um, gearbox shifter is what we're going to be working on I've lost a bit of the shifter there it is let's just pop that there a second so we need to prop this bit off here and essentially what this is going to do is go over there and then that's going to attach to that and then this bit here is going to go, see if I can show you, it's going to replace where this is currently sat and that's going to sit in there like that and then this cable is going to go on top of it. Um, like I said at the start of the video this is by no means a tutorial, um, if you want to watch a tutorial go on YouTube and just type it in, there's far better tutorials than this but it is going to be a documentation of me doing it so um, it, it can still be useful so let's go ahead and try and get this off again you need a flathead screwdriver which is what I've got here so I'm going to try and prop my camera up here and uh, give you a good angle right lads we've got an angle of dreams on the go so what we need to do is I'm just going to bang it in second and we need to pop this off this thing here now a few people have said this is really tight so I don't know how easy it's going to be or how difficult it's going to be um, but I can imagine it's probably on there quite tight so that it doesn't pop off whilst you're driving I'm giving that a good, a good amount of welly at the minute oh Jesus that is a bit stiff the thing is I don't want to like snap the plastic that I'm using this to sort of rest it on Bloody hell. Bloody hell, lad. I've literally got no more leverage. I've got no more leverage in there, so that's no good. Oh, shit. This is going to be a pain in the ass. I can tell already. Oh, Jesus. That ain't no good, is it? Fucking hell, that's on tight. Right, I'm going to come back to you once I've got it off, because that's what every other YouTuber does, and they just make it look really easy. So... Rather than me just filming minutes of me to trying to get this off, I'll come back to you once I've actually managed to get it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I've managed to get it off and I've cracked out this weapon. Look at the size of this screwdriver, it's bloody huge. Um, I found that the thin screwdriver wasn't giving me enough welly to get it out, so I cracked out this massive one that came off straight away. So, now that that's off, what we need to do is work out this little bit down here. Apparently there's some sort of spring that I have to pull somewhere. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing with that, um, so I'm going to have to try and figure that out and then 
get it out of there somehow. So I'm just gonna watch a, someone's video on YouTube and see if I can do it. A few moments later. Yes, boys. I managed to get it off. I was literally just watching a video and I was like, there's no way this is coming out easy. Um, and what I did was just put my hand behind it and, and lifted it up and it came straight out. So it is out now. Um, yeah, that was better than I thought. So what I'm going to do now is just loosen up this section. Um, not all the way, just, just enough so that it's loose. And then essentially what you need to do is slide that over that uh, current new clamp so you've got a higher, higher one up. I'm just going to do that now. So I've loosened it up as you can see there's a bit of a gap there so what I need to do is just slide that over. I'm only going to stop the video whilst I do this because if not I'm just going to get distracted because I can't afford to drop this down the back. But you just want to slide that over like I showed you um, and then tighten up these bolts. So we'll slide it over first and then I'll come back to you once I've tightened it up. There we have it guys, you can just about see in there that I've just clipped it on. That was again fairly simple, but you just want to make sure that it's clipped on there nice and tight because you definitely don't want that coming off whilst you're driving. Um, device is too hot so the flash has been turned off, great. Bloody phone's catching fire. Um, but now for time for the second bit. This bit essentially, if I put that sort of in shot, that's just going to drop down over there and then sit a bit higher. Um, than the old one, which will give you the short throw. Now the higher it is, obviously the shorter the throw is. Um, so I'm just going to loosen up this end of it here so we can get it around this bend. Actually I'll take it off and do it. As you can see, I've slid that down now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle so I've got a fairly short throw, um, but not so it's ridiculous. Um, and then you want to just hold that in place and just tighten up the nuts, nice and easy. Sorry about these dodgy angles. Um, but yeah, it's fairly simple, so I'm not even gonna bother filming this. I'm literally just gonna hold that and then tighten it up. So I'll come back to you once I've done that. So there we have it, lads. It is now all on. Um, I've tightened up the bolts just there and I've just popped the uh, sort of top bit back on there. And that is all firmly on. All we need to do now is just pop that back on there and then we're going to take it for a test run, make sure everything's working fine. I'm sure it will be, but it's always better just to test stuff once you've um, fitted mods, just to make sure they are working okay and otherwise you can change it whilst you're uh, still got it fresh in your mind. But it's feeling quite short now, but we're just going to go for a quick spin once I've got those on and then we'll uh, see how it feels. Boys, 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 it feels absolutely mental. It feels so good, it makes such a big difference. It's unreal, for 40 quid it's definitely worth doing if you haven't done it already. But the throw has dramatically decreased um, between gears and it just feels so much better overall. I always thought in this kite, with the gear throw being so long, how it was, um, it almost felt like you were driving like a rocket ship because you have to like wait five seconds to change gear but now you can actually change gear pretty quickly and give it some hooning down some B roads. So yeah, I definitely recommend doing it. Um, we'll sign out to the video here. I am driving so obviously I'm not going to be pointing the camera towards me. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching already. If you have enjoyed, make sure to drop it a like, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.